Okay, here we have a paper NPN transistor. You can kind of see the pattern to the paper. And you can see these aluminum strips, they just go from here down to each one of these leads. And from here down, this face is folded is just graphite pencil and then this block here with just diagonal lines in the center right here it was a solid graphene pencil mark and same here this lane is thicker this lane is thinner this acts as the collector and and the emitter and the base. This lane goes straight through and let's see here we have a 1k resistance going to the lead sharing into the lane of the collector the that comes out to the negative and it's cross connected with hold on the base with the 10k resistor on the emitter end is 1k feeding out and the LED with uh, 330 ohm resistor and this switch. This operates as the clock pulse and it just lets you know the charge is in and this functions as the clock signal or at least the display for it. This is the data lane and this is the data button and you press the data button to store the data point and you press the clock button to cycle through. So, there's the clock light. So we create the clock pulse. I'm not sure if I left the charge in there. We'll find out real quick. Nope, there's no charge in there. So, you can see the clock light dimming. So we put a pulse through it. Now we put point in the data and hit the clock pulse again and we have the flash. This is only a, I believe a 10 microfarad capacitor so it doesn't hold it for long and it doesn't need to. So we'll click it again. It should be depleted. There's maybe a little bit bleeding into it. Then we press the data point, then the clock point, and flash. And a little bit is left in there. Probably be better to use a even smaller capacitor. Before I was using a 220, but that held it way too long. Same is almost perfect. If you had a slow pulse, oops, I just touched the lines. So, see what that did. Nope, didn't mess with it. Alright, data, pulse, data, pulse, data, pulse, 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 pulse. So that's it, it's just paper, it's graphite pencil. It's, uh, let's see, number 14420, you get an art store, it's just graphene. I think it might just be pressed, I didn't see anything about it being blended with oils, but it goes on very smooth. I just use standard 
notepad paper. Let's see here. And it goes on like so. And not too much pressure is needed. It blends pretty well. And that's about maybe a little firmer. That's about as much as I'd put on it. And that's about as much as was put on those lanes. And contacts are connected with the standard tin foil. And bound together with basic electrical tape. The contact leads are solid core wire, this dual strand wire I had laying around as scrap, which makes good for making bridges in the breadboard because of the solid core. And that's it.